Hello guys, what is up? Tara Artist Movie here with another super super exciting tutorial and today I'm gonna be teaching you how to color grade your Blackmagic Pocket Cinema camera footage. As you can see here, I shot this video with Blackmagic Pocket Cinema camera. So what is Blackmagic Pocket Cinema camera? Well, basically if you go to YouTube for the love of God, <laughs> you don't know YouTube, I mean how you find me? Alright, so <laughs> just type in BMPCC, boom. And there, there you go, Black Magic Pocket Cinema Camera, lots of review, and ooh, look at this, my video, <laughs> last week video. And then, uh, there you go, Black Magic Pocket Cinema Camera for, from Medias Barling here. I'm sorry if I pronounce your name wrong, but anyway, there you go. I just want to show you, this is the camera, boom, really small and really handy, but, whoa, really powerful. Alright, so, let's go back to Premiere Pro, as you can see here, this is the flat footage, but I'm just gonna be teaching you how to do this color grading style, boom, boom, and boom, there you go, look like uh, Rivendell from The Hobbit or the Lord of the Ring movie, <laughs> look at this, that's a horrible voice, but anyway, so, <laughs> and uh, yep, uh, yeah, quickly. I'm just gonna be showing you how, but you need uh, third-party plugins, actually two uh, third-party plugins, which is the Film Convert Pro and the Red Giant products. Why? Because we want to do it fast and easy. <laughs> For, you know, if you uh, got no time to color grade your uh, very, very flat Blackmagic Pocket Cinema camera footage, uh, you don't have time to, you know, basically color correct and color grading in, in uh, very very uh, more specific software like DaVinci Resolve for example here uh, <laughs> if you use Premiere Pro like me well you want it to be fast then Film Convert is your friend <laughs> and it costs like 200 bucks yep for Premiere Pro or After Effects you can search it on Google by the way filmconvert.com and for the Red Giant products I use Colorista of course maybe some of you already know what Colorista is from Red Giant software and boom back to the footage so first of all and i'm just gonna be delete this uh so after i delete this uh, yeah let's start from the beginning so go to the film convert pro after you install it and remember that this this doesn't come with uh premiere pro you have to buy it separately boom and there you go now what i love about film convert is is it got a lot of uh like a preset from from the camera setting here um it is default as a default <laughs> and you can change it to any camera so as you can see here this is for Blackmagic Design BMCC or BMPCC or Blackmagic Pocket Cinema Camera so to be honest uh, you don't have to use you know as it says like it says Blackmagic Pocket Cinema Camera then you have to use the Blackmagic Pocket Cinema Camera well it doesn't have to be like that uh, you can use the Canon which is I haven't downloaded you can just click it to download the uh, the uh, profile and install it and uh, I'm just gonna be using the BMCC so it's uh, it's big brother the Blackmagic cinema camera and because I shot it in uh, film not minus one it's actually just film and there you go you already got the image uh, a little bit color corrected but uh, then we can go to the film settings for me I just gonna convert it to well it's a bunch of a uh, bunch of presets here you can just basically go to anything you want <laughs> so let's see mm -mm -mm -mm. Ooh, this is look nice but uh, I just want to let's say I'm just want to grade it for like a more like a Rivendell style Rivendell you know from the Hobbit World of the Ring anyway so <laughs> maybe all right this one not not to contrast so it's it's it looks uh, a little bit nicer and then the temperature like it's, let's see we can play it with the temperature also so make it a little bit you know a yellowish uh color here i shot this in the uh in the very very morning anyway so the sun is actually pretty yellow but anyway let's make it live even more warmer because as you can as you know if you haven't watched the hobbit maybe I don't know <laughs> it's kind of warm you know but with a bluish shadow but we get into that later so boom there you go really fast there's a boom very flat boom a really really nice um, look there and uh, well let's say you don't want to BMC this is for example BMCC you can use the Blackmagic Pocket Center camera it will gives you a different looks look boom boom there you go this is the pocket one is your film, your video, or whatever. Or right, so, um, you can still play with the preset here. 
Well, actually, this is more... Yeah, basically it's all about presets, it's all about your taste, alright, so... So, your taste or what you're gonna achieve. Alright, let's use the black magic pockets in our camera for now. <laughs> and boom, there you go. You can also play with the film color, you know, to be f more, uh, you know, uh, make the color more vivid or more, you know, flat or the curve. You know, like a pivot of the color. Instead of the pivot of the contrast, is the pivot of the color. Maybe not to contrast look, but. Actually, it's a pivot of the contrast, alright? <laughs> it's a curve, for the love of God. Alright, so, maybe not to contrast, maybe boom, there you go. 66% for me, by the way, 66% and grain. Now, this is what I love about the film convert. If, maybe we're gonna zoom in, out a little, zoom in, in a little bit. As you can see here, it's a film grain. So, uh, <laughs> there's a film grain uh, preset here, which is, I love it so much. It's, it, you know, makes your footage a little bit, a little bit looks more filmic by adding some film grain because, as you know, digital camera doesn't have any grain. That's just FYI for you. So boom, this is the original. Uh, almost no grain. Yep, no grain. But I mean, I'm just gonna be put it at uh, not not too much too. Probably eighty percent. Boom, there you go. And back to fit. And boom, looks so filmic, so crazily good. And because I want it to be like Rivendell style, as as I said before, a little bit warmer here. There you go. And then. You can also, if if you open up the color correction, you can punch the saturation up a little bit more. Woo, not too much. There you go, boom. And also, you can actually play with the color wheels. So you can actually grade it also in this, you know, uh, in this film convert. But for me, I just don't want to use film convert to grade it. So it's just color corrected, even though it's already like a little bit color graded. A little bit. So as you can see here, before, after, before, really flat, after, boom. You know, look at this. It looks like a shutter with a with a film. You know, camera, not the digital camera. This is, looks so beautiful. All right. So now uh, we're gonna go to the uh, Regen Color Suit, and I'm just gonna use my uh, Colorista 2. Boom. There you go. And uh, for this, uh, let's see. Just the uh, you know. Uh, usual Hollywood style, which is a little bit bluish shadow for now, and then a little bit yellow for the mid tone because is it? A, I'm just gonna be <laughs> making the Rivendell style here. Hopefully, we can achieve that. And ooh, too red, too red. Not not too red, just a little bit, a little bit for the highlight. So the highlight is gonna be a little bit yellowish, a little bit red. There you go. And uh, we're gonna open up the secondary now. For the secondary, maybe we're gonna punch it up a little bit yellow for the light. Because Rivendell, the light on Rivendell is really yellow, and th thankfully, I shot this in a very, very early morning too, so. It's gonna be yellowish. Anyway. And boom. Now, now, uh, because in the uh, first car crack, uh, or car grading uh, thingy here. <laughs> Uh, I go a little bit bluish now. I'm gonna go a little bit greenish for the shadow. Let's see what it will looks like. A little bit down there. Woo! Too much. Not too much. The previous kind of laggy here, so I'm just gonna kind of little wait, wait a little bit. Boom! There you go. And maybe the blue, the blue is gonna I'm gonna punch the blue a little bit more too. Back to the color correction primary here. Boom! There you go. Um, and uh, you can play with a pop. If you punch it to the right, it will look like oh, look at that! Look like a really, you know, like a weird. <laughs> uh, but you, if, if if it's uh, the the uh, you know the thing you want, there you go. But if we want, if we want to achieve some kind of uh, Rivendell uh, thingy, uh, I'm just gonna do minus, which is gonna give you like a, you know, like. Sh like a like a waiting <laughs> more like a waiting video here but uh, yeah a little bit to the left boom so it's like a glowy a little bit so you can play with a hue even secondary hue let's see what it does oh my god no I'm just gonna <laughs> I'm just gonna be using that for one oh but, but probably a little bit though let's see 
Nope. Not gonna do it. All right. So, and uh, yep. There you go. I just uh, and you can actually play with the master too, but I don't know. So I'm gonna play with that. I think it's already looks nice, or maybe well, maybe a little bit. Let's see. For the light, for the shadow, for the highlight. Let's see. Yep. Now we're already done. We already. Uh, all right. Boom. So you can see here, let's see the before and after, shall we? The, so this is flat, color correct with Film Convert Pro, color grid with Colorista. Basically what I did there is just give a little bit, you know, some kind of Hollywood uh, stuff there. <laughs> with yellowish light and bluish greenish shadow as you can see here. So before, after with Colorista. And with, basically, I already like this style. Boom, there you go. By, by the way, the point here, guys, is as you can see here, how fast I am. Go from Film Convert and Colorista. How fast I am. Look, really fast. Let's see. The time. Woo, 11 minutes. Pretty fast. If you use like a DaVinci Resolve, you're gonna need more time than that. Probably because, ooh, you know, my mama. <laughs> but alright, so for the finishing, maybe you can uh, go to Car Correction. And by the way, because I'm making a tutorial here, if I'm not making a tutorial, it's gonna be more faster than 11 minutes. Maybe you're gonna be 3 minutes or whatever. Alright, so fast car corrector maybe, no, let's see, three-way car corrector, boom, just, you know, adding a little bit more uh, thing here and a little bit tips for you guys. So you can go to secondary car correction with the, by the way, this is come with Premiere Pro's three-way car corrector. And you can just go to mask and we're gonna show mask here. And we're gonna pick a color, which is just the it's leaves here. And a plus, I'm gonna pick all of the leaves. So it's not affecting any, you know, other thing except leaves. And minus for the face. Of course, we, we're not going to affect the face. No, no, sir. We don't want it. Holy crap. Why? <laughs> All right. I think it's fine. Then we're going to soften it a little bit, maybe. Yep. To make it. Boom. There you go. Problem solved. And then, there you go. So, what it does, actually... Uh, it only gonna uh, color grade or changing the color the part that is white not in black so let's just I'm just gonna be showing you now so if we change anything it only affect the thing that we uh, you know the, 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 the white part so as you can see here the shadow you change it to blue as you can see here the one that's going to change to, into blue color is only the part that is black because we already masked it the look look Look, there you go. Alright, so for now, I'm just gonna play with shadow even more if you want. But it's just, for example, there. Maybe a little bit yellowish now for, for the shadow. F <laughs> sorry, for the, for, the, for the leaves. Just more natural look. And boom, Rivendell. There you go. And <laughs> a little bit yellow slide here, probably. <laughs> For the leaves, or maybe greenish actually. Woo! Look at that. Or maybe maybe bluish for that. That's that's interesting. Look, interesting look. Yep, I'm gonna just, just gonna go a little bit bluish there. Boom! There you go. And also a little bit tips right there for color grading. This is the um <laughs> flat image. Film convert, colorista, three-way color corrector. A little bit bluish on the shadowy area on the leaves there look at this how fast it is so and for me you can have this another tips to create a fake yes you can actually create a fake sun in the premiere pro cc 2014 i mean come on it's premiere pro cc 2014 you can create a file new um let's see color mate okay we can pick a color, more like a sun color, of course, or orange. Okay, and then we can name it Sun for the love of God. All right. <laughs> okay, and uh, we're gonna put it there, up there. So go to effect controls. Uh, so you click it and go to effect controls, and then you're gonna go to opacity and just. Uh, just uh, you know turn off the toggle animation here and change the blend mode 
to probably um for me is uh let's let's just try it all right lighten and then you got this uh, mask tool since Premiere Pro CC 2014 and this is like the newest one here anyway so boom and you can create a mask we just create a mask like so for the fake sun here let's see Woo yep there you go like so and then we can feather the mask like just like in After Effects and then we can turn down the opacity boom instant fake sun really freaking fast and boom there you go Rivendell <laughs> that was a horrible voice again alright guys so thank you for watching this tutorial as you can see here this is how I color grade my footage uh, really really fast and uh, just uh, just as as an addition I'm sorry for my bad English it's just my English is just so sucks but anyway <laughs> I hope you understand what I'm what I've been saying but anyway it's just for example as you can see here this is uh, footage from my uh, previous uh, movie the horror movie and as you can see here I shot it underexposed I did it in, in purpose because it's just gonna be a dark movie anyway uh, uh, but I just tested so basically I try to expose the image and you can still see oh, basically boom it's just like you shot it uh, not underexposed <laughs> the details is still there details are still there and uh, there's no noise in the dark area it's just crazy I shot it underexposed and I color grade it to it basically looks like it's not shot and underexposed and look at the details just crazy if I shot it with my 5d mark 2 it's gonna be noise all over the place and look at this no noise whatsoever boom crazy what I love with black magic cinema camera and it's only one thousand dollars it's far more cheaper than 5d mark 2 but only uh, it 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 doesn't uh, do the uh, you know photo of course it's it's a film camera it's a film camera is only shoot um, ProRes, a uh, very, 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 very flat ProRes. So, is that a camera for something? If you want to just, oh, I just want this camera to shoot. No, for family movie, no. It's really a film camera, so it's crazy. But yeah, <laughs> it's uh, it's crazy. Look at this. Woo! I just love this camera. So that is guy. That's it. That's how you create a Rivendell style from me. But the point is here. Uh, this two here, Film Convert Pro and Colorista, is 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 the best. Is uh, you know to make your life easier <laughs> if you're uh, you know color graded color grading artist or whatever. All right, guys. So thank you for watching and uh, Taras movie here. I hope you find this useful. I really really hope you find this useful. And thank you for liking, subscribing, and sharing the video. And uh, see you in the next cool videos and tutorials. Ciao.